everyone, welcome to Brush and Bubbles. Is that right? So weird. What did I do before? If you are new here, then welcome to the Bubble Family. We bring you new art tutorials every week so you can get creative from the comfort of your own home. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll get a notification every time we post a new video. Today, we're going to be talking you through exactly how you can create your very own pour painting using the dirty pour technique. This is when we fill a cup with paint and pour it on the canvas, creating beautiful flowing artwork. We're also going to be sharing the exact products we use, the ratios, a few tips and tricks and techniques so you can follow along easily from home. If you're not already familiar with pour painting, then this is a super fun, really relaxing and actually very, very simple way that you can create some amazing abstract art for your home. We're going to be showing you exactly how to make them, breaking down the whole process. We're also going to be showing you the exact products we use, how we use them, our personal favourite way, how to get the best out of your paint pool. Pick your paint colours of choice and let's jump into the video. <laughs> so before we jump into our mixing and our painting, I'm just going to talk you through exactly what you'll need to create this at home. To start with, you're going to need your acrylic paints. So you can use any brand of paint that you like. We have a little bit of a mixture here. And you can actually get paints that are specifically for paint pouring. So you'll find that the consistency is slightly more fluid. But if you've only got normal acrylic paints available, then don't worry because we're going to be adding in a pouring medium. There are loads of brands out there. We personally prefer to use Liquitex. It's nice and ready and you can just apply it straight to the paint. However, if you haven't got any Liquitex to hand, you can always use PVA glue and if you just water it down slightly with some water it does the job really nicely. Next up you will need some plastic cups. You can also use old yogurt pots. You'll need one cup per paint colour that you're using. You'll also need four of these just to pop underneath your canvas just to raise the canvas up slightly. This is so when we pour the paint on it flows off the sides nicely like a waterfall. You'll also need an extra cup, which will be our main cup, which we'll pour all of our paints into. We then recommend having some form of lollipop stick or you can use plastic spoons, but we just want something that we can easily mix our paints with. One of the most important parts of these pour paintings is the oil. Oil helps us produce those lovely cells that just make these paintings pop and makes them into this mad science experiment that we absolutely love. So this is what we recommend. However, you can experiment with your oil. We have got here a treadmill oil or sewing machine oil. It seems pretty random but you can find it really easily online and we do find that this works probably the best. We've also got here some coconut oil hair product and if you haven't got anything like this you can actually just melt down some coconut cooking oil and use that instead because we only need a few drops. Moving over to our canvas and our tray area. You can use any size canvas that you want with these paintings. What we suggest doing though is starting slightly smaller, maybe medium, having an experiment, having a practice, getting the hang of it. They are so addictive, I can almost guarantee you're gonna have a whole gallery of these paintings after we've finished. So start slightly smaller and then you can go bigger and bigger and bigger and you can just make huge, gigantic masterpieces. A bit like this one here. We also recommend having a tray down here. This is mainly just to collect all of the paints if you don't have too much mess. You can either use a box, a plastic box. This is just an aluminium baking tray that works really well. It's a really nice way for us to save the paint so we're not wasting it. So what we like to do, once all the paint has dropped from the sides of our canvas, we either use a tiny little canvas and like scoop up the paint and create another painting, or you can kind of tip all of the paint in an extra cup, use it for another painting down the line. Before we get into our painting, we're just gonna prepare our canvas. So we're gonna move back over to the four cups that I mentioned before, and we're just gonna place these carefully underneath the canvas in the corner just so our canvas is nice and raised ready for the paint to be applied. Pop them down underneath and then you can place your canvas on top. We're just going to spend a moment now mixing up our acrylic paint with our pouring medium. Now this is super super easy because it is just equal parts paint to our pouring medium and we're going to be mixing them up in our cups. 
What I would suggest is just having a look at the size of your canvas. Because we're only using a smaller eight by 10 size canvas, I won't need to mix up loads and loads of paint. If you are going for one of our gigantic canvases, you'll just need to make sure you're mixing up enough paint to start with. So these are the paint colors that we're personally gonna be using for our painting. We have a more turquoise shade, a lighter pink, a blue, then a fluorescent pink, and of course our white. I'm gonna start by mixing up the white in my first cup. Now, like I mentioned, we want to have quite a lot of white within these paintings just because it separates the colors nicely. You don't need to be completely precise, but just then add in your pouring medium. Got to see them. So you don't have to be super precise, you can just judge it taking one of your lollipop sticks, you can just give it a mix. So we would suggest doing this really gently. Don't vigorously stir your pouring medium and your paint together, just because we don't want to have too many bubbles getting into our paint. Just spend a moment having a little relax, giving it a stir. It's actually very therapeutic. Once you're happy with your stir, you can just leave the lollipop stick in and just pop it down and move over to your next colour. So I'm going to go for this fluorescent pink paint, which we love. It adds a really nice pop in our painting. So I'm just going to add some of this to the bottom of my cup. And again, just add your pouring medium. And if you haven't got your pouring medium and you're not using a brand like Liquitex, and you're using your PVA glue, you just want to sort of make sure that the PVA isn't too thick, which is why adding the water in before really helps. And then just adding that to your paint and it essentially does exactly the same thing. We want this paint to be a sort of buttermilk consistency. Next, I'm just adding this blue sh shade and just adding in that pouring medium. Mixy, mixy, mixy. I told you you'd feel like a scientist. Wait till the cells come out at the end. Next, I've got this lovely light pink color. Next up, we have this lovely sort of turquoise bluey green shade. It's a gorgeous color actually. I was literally just looking to see if it had a really technical color, but no, it's just called turquoise green. As soon as you're happy and you've mixed in your acrylic paint with your pouring medium, we now need to add the magic ingredient, which is our oil. So we're going for this treadmill oil. Now you only need a drop or two drops, and we wanna make sure, again, that we're not really mixing it in. All I would do is drop a drop or two drops into your cup. So just carefully add your oil into your mixture. Almost just dab it in so it doesn't overly mix. Almost blobbing it in. Blobbing is a very technical term. And this oil is what helps us get the cells. This is what's so fun about creating this kind of art because you can't really go wrong and each time they come out amazing and wonderful. As soon as you're happy with your mixing, we're now gonna move on to the fun bit because what we're gonna do is we're gonna add all of these paints into our main cup. So the idea with this is you can just pick up any color or shade that you want and we're just gonna drop in one on top of the other. Starting with my white, I'm just gonna carefully pour some into my cup. Now this is the fun bit because you can just pick your next color. You might want to add only a tiny bit. You might want to add loads. You might even want to do a little kind of swirl as you're adding that paint on top of your first shade. And then we're just gonna carry on adding these paints. As soon as your cup is filled up with your paint, we're gonna move over to the magical bit, which is pouring it onto our canvas and you can just do gentle circles with your hand until all of the paint is out of your cup. What we'll then do is we can just carefully pick up the canvas and manipulate the paint so that it falls in each direction. So you're making sure the whole canvas is covered and it can then drip off the side like our waterfall. Let's give it a go. So what you want to do is just carefully pour your paint on the middle of the canvas. And I'm just doing little circles around. As you can see, you've got a lovely sort of pattern forming the paint's coming out and then you can just very carefully tilt the canvas around just so all the paint swoops down off the edges as you can see we've got these lovely cells forming already
So this is your chance to just check around the sides of your canvas and what you can do with your finger is just pick up some of this paint that's fallen into your tray and you can just dab it on any of the areas of your canvas. I haven't got any paint. As soon as your canvas is nice and covered up, you have completed your paint pour masterpiece. All you want to do now is pop it somewhere really safe to leave it to dry. It can take a few days to dry completely through and you don't want to poke it and get a little finger mark in it, which is something we have done before. As soon as your painting is lovely and dry, you have completed your paint pour masterpiece. If you like this video, be sure to give us a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks everyone, see you again next time.